On the original instrument, while you had three pulse wave options for each oscillator, those pulse widths, even in a perfectly calibrated mini, which is itself a very rare thing, were set to duty cycles of either 50% or two increasingly narrower options. There was no variable pulse width, and nor was there any pulse width modulation, although back in the day many bands attempted mods to achieve this. So on Mini Monster 2, we decided to add this, but to VCO1 only. Via this knob, you can change the pulse width of any pulse waveform. Here's square. Here's the first narrow option. And here's the really narrow one. And because we have the ability to apply an XLFO or an XADSR to this knob, we can modulate it. Not only that, but we can modulate it with waveforms besides a standard sine or triangle. For example, here's a cosine up waveform, modulating the pulse width of a 50% square. And if you layer that with, say, a sawtooth wave on oscillator 2 that plays an octave below, you'll hear how well this can complement other settings. Mm -hmm. 